afternoon. It's Sharla. Alanda. And we were tagged in a tag called, well, it's a, a tag that um, Melissa from Dolly Pop Productions tagged me. And I'm going to let Linda do it, too. So that while we're doing it, we're going to change little Lila Monet, put a fresh diaper and a fresh outfit on her. We're going to put this little, these little pants on her. Yellow with daisies, white with turquoise centers, and this precious little top oh, that has three little daisies and it has several layers. We're going to use a peacock diaper, and we're going to put this pretty yellow flower in her hair that has rhinestones. Okay, so while we start. The first question, Linda, I'll answer it, then you want, then you can, okay? Okay. The first question is, who inspired you to make YouTube videos? Well, the person that inspired me to make YouTube videos is Laura of Hello Dolly Nursery. She's gone to heaven now, but at that time, she was very, very active in the Reborn community and also on the Chronically Ill channel. And Laura and I were on the Chronically Ill channel together. And she said, I think you would love, because she knew I loved dolls. She said, I think you would love a reborn Charlotte. And we just talked for hours and hours about it. And she talked about how wonderful they were and how good they make you feel. And, um, and so um, she uh, told me about the different sculpts. And I started studying the sculpts. And then she, I asked her who I should get to reborn my baby. And she said, uh, there's a new artist that's doing really good work, and I think you should use her. Her name is Bad Chick Yogi. There we go, baby girl. So, that's what I did. I called Bad Chick Yogi and uh, uh, onesie. Onesie, uh -huh. okay. Well, a white, white or yellow. So, I called Bad Chick Yogi and, and asked her if she could make the Esme Sculpt by Diddy Jacobson for me and what her prices were and so forth and so on and she said certainly so she did and oh my goodness was she beautiful and I still have her and I love her so much to this day she is just still as beautiful as she ever was uh, that'll be perfect that little yellow one will be pretty she found this little yellow one see will be perfect under there and so, we got, remember when we got Alexis, Linda? Uh -huh. Remember when we got Alexis? Yeah. And when we got Alexis in the mail, oh my goodness, I opened her and I didn't even have any idea that Linda liked dolls. She didn't express no. any, that she knew, uh, like dolls. And so, um, when I opened that box, Linda grabbed her and she just wouldn't put her down. I was like, oh my goodness, I, Linda loves her. So, so then she decided that um, she wanted Reborns. So she's got Reborns and I've got Reborns. And that's how I got to making videos. Linda, now how did you start making videos? You started on me doing that. <laughs> Linda, I got you started, didn't I? Uh-huh. Oh, she looks cute with that oh, little onesie on. Cute. Look how cute oh, that little onesie okay. is. L Linda, uh, and you loved it. We used to get up and have coffee time uh -huh. every morning. I change clothes all the time in the morning. Uh -huh. And do videos. That's going to fit her just fine, but i got to put her diaper on. we got to put your diaper on, but I wanted to make sure that fit her. Okay, so the second question, Linda, is... Okay, what is your favorite color? My favorite color... I like all colors, except I don't, I'm not crazy about green and orange. But my very favorite color of all colors is red. That's my very favorite color. And this is baby powder with soothing aloe and vitamin E. Yeah, I love red. I've got a lot of red glass and red lamps. And, and I took a decorating class, and they said that you could use a touch of red in every room. So that's what I've got. Some rooms I just have a touch, and some I have more. But I love red. And I guess the next after red would be blue. Okay, Linda, what's your favorite color? Oh, I see. 
Purple's your favorite color? Uh -huh. okay. Purple and orange. Purple and orange. You're an orange girl, huh? Uh-huh. Okay, well, those, those are two pretty cut colors. All right, let's see. Let me get her buttoned up here. and Then we'll go on to the next tag. These tags are kind of fun. There you go, sweetie. Got a dry diaper on you, little angel. Look at her. Oh, you little darling. You got your diaper on. Looking so pretty. So pretty. Okay, question number three. <clears throat> what are your favorite things to make? Well, at different times in my life, I've made different things. I used to make a lot of wreaths and and then I, I made, uh, when the sweatshirts that you decorate were in style, I would make them for my daughter and decorate them with um, colored stones and make tennis shoes to match. You know, you'd wear leggings and, the, and the, the sweatshirt would have rhinestones all over it and then the little white tennis shoes would have rhinestones. And then I got in the phase of making, doing toe painting. Uh, I did that for a while, to toe painting. And then I did ceramics for a while. Um... Made a lot of wreaths and ting tings. Uh, I love to decorate, but right now, I guess that what I'm doing the most is I like to make baby hair accessories. I guess that's what I'm making now. I think, don't you, Linda? Uh huh. That's about what I'm doing now is baby hair accessories for the for our sweet babies. And these little pants look so oh, cute. They're really not. They're jeggings. They're a little tight because they're called jeggings. Okay, Linda, what's your favorite thing to make? She uh, likes to do lots of things. I love to embroidery and I love to do needlepoint. Now she, and she loves to do pillowcases. And you like to cross stitch. Cross stitch, uh huh. And you like to color. I like to color and I love, love. We play bingo today. I like one number having bingo, maybe Wednesday. Now, Linda, there was a new craft that you did here a while back at the center that turned out real pretty, and you said you really enjoyed it. It was something with making flowers. Oh, making those flowers out of tissue paper, different colors. Yes. I love it. Do you have any? I don't, you don't have, have any. any with you. We're going to make some before our friends come, but she loves doing that. Now, look how pretty she looks. Oh, isn't that cute? Yeah, she looks so She looks dying. darling in that. Now we've got to fix her hair. Okay, Linda. Let's see. The next question is, if you had to go to a desert island and you could only take three things with you, what would you take? Um, okay, if I had to go to a desert island and I could only have three things. Well, we don't know if they've had internet service, so probably not. I think I would take... Toilet paper, a toothbrush, and a reborn. Uh, toilet paper because I, you know, why I would want to take that. A toothbrush because um, you could find you could find some plant that you could extract something for to use for toothpaste, and I can't stand dirty teeth. And also. Um, you can use coconut, get coconut or whatever you had to, for lotion, so I didn't wouldn't need that. So yeah, a toothbrush, a reborn, and toilet paper. And she looked darling in that. What would you take, Linda? I would take some uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, comb my brush. You can only take three things. Oh, okay. Pick three. Uh, what did I say? Toothbrush, toothpaste, and some paper towels. Okay, that's good. Well, I'd use your toothpaste uh, and I'd use your paper towels. Oh, okay. And you could use my to, uh, toilet paper. Toilet paper, yeah. And you could hold my reborn. Uh huh. But you couldn't use my toothbrush. <laughs> we wouldn't have any way to sterilize it. Oh, how precious. I mean, this girl has got gorgeous hair. Doesn't she look pretty? So angel face. Okay, and we're changing her on this um, this vintage little changing mat that Michelle gave us, and I just love this. I used to use it with my kids, my kids, my daughter, and we'd lay that down so that the sheet wouldn't get soiled. 
and I just love those. I only have one, but I just love them. And then she's got her little barefoot sandals on, and she's got on this chiffon, pretty, pretty little chiffon top with the little cute daisies. We've got one more question, I think, Linda. And then she's laying here so sweet. And hand her that little uh, brown one right there. Yeah. She wants to hold Peter Rabbit because that's our new new lovey and she hasn't had her turn with it. So there you go, darling. Let's get you fixed here so everybody can see how pretty you look. You can hold on to Peter Rabbit. Yes, you can. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Okay, last question, Linda. She can't sit still. I'm going to have to tie her down. Come on in here. Let's finish, gir girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Linda, she can't sit still. She's Okay. If I were a craft, what would I be? Me, a craft. Okay, let's see. Yeah, what kind of craft would I be? I think I'd be a paper flower. Linda, what would you be? If you were a craft, what would you be? If you had to turn into a craft? Uh, if you if you if you, you aren't going to be Linda anymore, you want to turn into a craft. What would you be? Learn how to sew. No, what would you be? You're going to turn into it. Uh, I'd turn into a flower. What would you turn into? Paper flowers what I'd turn into. Uh, what would you turn into? We have to think of something. What would you be if you had to turn into a craft? I love to embroidery. You turn into embroidery? Uh huh. Yeah. You turn into an embroidery. Okay, let me take this camera off and I'll show you what it looks like. Looking so pretty. A little angel. There's her little feet. little pants. There's her little face. How pretty you look. Yes, you do. You look like an angel. Okay, so we tag Night Owl Nursery. Um, I tag Night Owl Nursery, and then I tag, I'm trying to think who doesn't do tags very often. Night Owl Nursery and Shirley Sanders, Night Owl Nursery, and Crazy Annie, which she's changed her channel name. Night Owl Nursery, Crazy Annie. Shirley Sanders, and my fourth one, I tag Michelle Hankins, okay? All right, that's who I tag. Thank you for inviting us to play. It was fun. God bless from West Texas. Bye-bye.